mite boxes. How many people grew up with something like this in their church? This was something that was given to you perhaps at the beginning of Lent and you went home and you put money in it and you brought it back and you put your name and address and it was mailed to probably your conference, your diocese or your national church. This is a mic box. So we are doing a little mic box ourselves, Coda style. Um, we have these purple boxes, they're in the narthex. This one has been decorated. Those in the narthex haven't been decorated and they don't have to be decorated. Um, they do need a slit cut in there if there isn't one there. So what is the reason for the mite box? Well, the mite box gets its name from the widow's mite, the small gift um, that she of the widow in Mark's gospel, um, Mark 21, um, one through four, I think. Um, Jesus was in the temple and he saw the rich men or rich, rich people come in the temple and dump their money and it made a loud noise. And then an old widow came in with two copper coins and put it in there. And Jesus said, she has given more. We wonder about that in godly play. How did she give more? What does that mean? Because clearly it's not more than the big bag of money. She gave more because she gave all that she had to live on. And she, and that was why she gave the most. So children, um, this is a great lesson. Um, not a lesson, a great image for them. Um, Church of the Apostles. Some of you might know we are going um, to take a mission trip to Panama City to do cleanup from Hurricane Michael. Little children can't go. So here's a way that they can give and still be part of it because this money will go to the hurricane relief. Um, um, so how do they earn money to, I mean, or how do they get money or, you know, I don't know where your children get money if you do allowances or whatnot. Obviously, that would be a way they could take some of their allowance, but maybe you could help by creating an opportunity like, hey, you know, I usually give you money for snack every afternoon. Maybe you don't have a snack or take an apple from home and the money that I would give you goes in here. Or maybe you're headed to the ballpark and you give them money to get chips or something and suggest or offer, you know, I have this dollar, but I could give that you could put that in your mic box and you could go with that. Let them have an opportunity to figure out how to do it. Maybe it's something you give them an opportunity to do some chores or something. Um, or maybe you as a family do it. It's not just an individual's box. It's just the family's mic boxes. Get as many as you want. Have a game out of it. Um, we got lots of them. Um, do put them somewhere like on the table in front of the placemats so, so the children kind of can do that um, and there's there's this little handout that gives you all the information about it as well on the narthex now at easter after all of lent you take your box with your money you go pick a flower in your backyard and there should be plenty of them and you stuff it in the little slit right here and you bring it to church and you give the offering because the cross our flower cross will be up on the altar and the boxes will be put in there oh how pretty is that and we will flower the cross it will look gorgeous um, so I really we're gonna need a lot of boxes so I really hope people will do that and also I would like to point out these because these are um, our colored drawings we did last year for the stations of the cross um, there's one, a different one every week, putting out on the table where the, the mite boxes are. Go by and look at it. Read it. Glance at it. You might be one of the families that did one of these. Um, and we're going to be hanging them in the hall um, during um, Lent. These are stations of the cross that, are the, that talk about that dark part about Jesus being um, carrying the cross um, and then being nailed to the cross and then dying on the cross. And during Holy Week, we will um, actually walk the stations of the cross, but there'll be more of that later. But I just wanted you to take note of that when you walk in. All right. Happy Lenten.